Is it time to buy or sell Broadcom stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Broadcom. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, the 25th of June, 2024. And now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since June 4, 2024, our system has ranked Broadcom as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 1.71. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Those who followed our analysis would have enjoyed an impressive gain of 18.78% since we first listed Broadcom as a buy candidate 15 days ago. This translates to an average return of 1.25% per day since it was listed as buy candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a very wide and strong rising trend in the short term, and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 20.74% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 6.85% and 41.65%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 68.12% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 39.47% and 96.09%. This translates to a price range of $2,204.75 to $3,099.74 after a year. Our latest daily update for Broadcom includes the headline, Red Day on Tuesday for Broadcom Stock After Losing 0.717%. The Broadcom stock price fell by negative 0.717% on the last day, Tuesday, 25th June 2024, from $1,592.21 to $1,580.79. It has now fallen five days in a row. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated 2.69% from a day low at $1,564 to a day high of $1,606.04. The price has been going up and down for this period, and there has been a 9.74% gain for the last two weeks. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by negative 301,000 shares, and in total, 5 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $8,420,000,000. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $1,851.62, and the lowest price was $795.40. Currently, the price is 14.63%, or $270.83, below the 52-week high of $1,851.62, which is also the all-time high for stock. Analyst Ratings On Thursday, June 13, 2024, it was reported that CFRA gave Avgo a buy grade with a hold action. On Thursday, June 13, 2024, it was reported that Benchmark gave Avgo a buy grade with a hold action. On Thursday, June 13, 2024, it was reported that Deutsche Bank gave Evgo a buy grade with a hold action. On Thursday, June 13, 2024, it was reported that Cowan & Co. gave Avigo a buy grade with a hold action. On Thursday, June 13, 2024, it was reported that Jefferies gave Avgo a buy grade with a hold action. Analysts have given Broadcom stock a general buy rating, they rate the price-to-earnings ratio as strong buy and price-to-book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a buy rating.
The following signals have been identified for Broadcom. The Broadcom stock holds a sell signal from the short-term moving average. At the same time, however, there is a buy signal from the long-term average. Since the short-term average is above the long-term average, there is a general buy signal in the stock, giving a positive forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the short-term moving average at approximately $1,704.66. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the long-term average at approximately $1,454.95. A breakup through the short-term average will send a buy signal, whereas a breakdown through the long-term average will send a sell signal. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Monday, June 17, 2024, and so far it has fallen negative 13.56%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day, and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal, pivots, sell signal six days ago, Bollinger, buy signal eight days ago, short-term moving average, sell signal four days ago, long-term moving average, buy signal 16 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 31 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, buy signal 15 days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 162 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 161 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, risk, and stop loss for Broadcom. On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $1,495.51 and $1,344.07. There is a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Broadcom finds support just below today's level at $1,495.51. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $1,344.07 and $1,328.55. This stock may move much during the day. Volatility. And with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band, this stock is considered to be high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $42.04 between high and low, or 2.69%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 3.88%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Broadcom, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A high PE ratio could mean that the stock is overvalued or that investors expect high growth rates in the future. In other news, the next earnings report for Q3 2024 is expected on Aug 29, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $11.96. Keep an eye on these numbers as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Broadcom. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Broadcom is at $1,658.63. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Broadcom encounters its first support level at $1,495.51. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. 
The combined average rating for Broadcom from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On June 21, 2024, Tan Hock E conducted an insider sell of 3,450 shares of common stock with a par value of $0.001. On June 20, 2024, Page Justine conducted an insider sell of 254 shares of common stock with a par value of $0.001. On June 21, 2024, Page Justin conducted an insider sell of 30 shares of common stock with a par value of $0.001. On June 17, 2024, Page Justin conducted an insider sell of 312 shares of common stock with a par value of $0.001. On June 17, 2024, Kawas Charlie B conducted an insider sell of 2,520 shares of common stock with a par value of $0.001. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of negative 19.419. Overall, insiders purchased 303,929 shares and sold 462,188 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $1,501.17, a decrease of 5.04%. This stock has high daily movements, which poses a high risk. A sell signal from a pivot top was identified 15 days ago. Is Broadcom stock a good buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive, and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for Broadcom stock to perform well in the short term. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Wednesday, June 26, we expect Broadcom to open up $2.82 and start trading at $1,583.61. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.